Hello everyone, welcome to Go Campus. This is Ashwini with you. In this video, we will see how to become a radiologist in the UK via PLAB route. The detailed video on the PLAB path is already there in our YouTube channel. So do have a look at this video. It will give you a clear understanding of the whole PLAB pathway. But very quickly, I'm just taking you through the preliminary steps. That is first, you need to finish your English exams, either IELTS or OET. Once you clear that, you give your PLAB 1 exam. After you pass your PLAB 1, give your PLAB 2 exam in the UK. After you finish your PLAB 1, complete your GMC licensing process and then start applying for the interviews. When you start applying for interviews, yes, you'll apply for many, but you will have few shortlists and then you'll have few interviews, you will get selected into one. So after you get your first job, start working on your visa papers, documentation, then you go to UK on tier 2 visa, you start your first job in the NHS. Now, this could be your FY2 training job to meet your FY2 competencies or you can get into a non-training job and sign up your CREST form to sign up your FY2 competencies. So, till here, the pathway remains the same for international medical graduates. You've finished these steps, sign up your FY2 competencies. Now, after this, to get into radiology specialty, what you should do? Now, radiology in the UK is a run-through program. Now, we all know UK has got three kinds of programs. One is run-through, uncoupled and GP training program. So, radiology falls under run-through program. So, in run-through program, you apply only once. You start from your speciality. You start from ST1. But when it comes to uncoupled training program, there are two competitive interviews and your specialty isn't decided in the beginning. You will go through core training. After completing core training, you get into specialty training. So that's a different pathway. So radiology comes under run-through program. The selection to clinical radiology training program ST1 in the UK is based on your interview scores, your self-assessment score, that's your portfolio, plus another exam called as MSRA. When you're looking at uncoupled training programs, there is no MSRA exam. But yes, if you are aiming at getting into run-through programs, you have to give MSRA exams. So now you know to get into ST1 in radiology, what is the basic selection criteria? Now for how many years is radiology training in the UK? So in the UK, the specialty training in clinical radiology is for five years. So after you sign up your FI competencies, you start from ST1 and you progress every year. ST2, ST3, ST4 till ST5. So on completion of your assessments, on you meeting all the required competencies, you can achieve CCT after you complete your training program. So trainees are normally expected to complete the FRCR exam by the time they reach or maybe at the end of the ST3 level. So the FRCR, that is the Fellow of Royal College of Radiologists, examination is set by Royal College of Radiologists in the UK. It is a three-part exam. The first part is called as first FRCR. Then you have final FRCR part A and then you have final FRCR part B. So you have to pass all your exams by end of ST3 and then you start your speciality interest from ST4 level. So we all know that radiology is one of the most competitive specialties, whether it is India, whether it is UK, whether it is US, wherever we see radiology is one amongst the competitive specialities. So if you want to increase your chances of getting into radiology, then you have to focus largely right from now. You need to have excellent portfolio. You should have very good interpersonal skills, communication skills to do your best in the interview. Plus, you should start preparing on your MSRA exam, which you can do post your uh, PLAB 2. So the competition ratio for FRCR is given in the description link below, as well as the self-assessment score link is given in the description below for your detailed understanding. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any concerns or queries regarding radiology in the UK, do reach out to us and all the very best for all the doctors who are aiming at getting into radiology speciality in the UK. Thank you.